Hey everyone, we're starting off the fall feature recap with something big. A brand new content type that makes collecting user feedback easier than ever. On top of that, we've unlocked one of our interactive features for free plans and rolled out two other key improvements that you don't want to miss. So let's dive right in. For the past year, we've been testing something new with our early adopters, and now it's finally here for everyone, Visme Forms. The idea for Visme Forms came straight from a challenge of ours, which was boosting conversion rates on our blog and our landing pages. Traditional forms felt a little bit static and honestly, a little boring. So we started experimenting with some custom interactive 3D characters and gestures from inside forms. The result, our conversions doubled, literally 2x. And that's when we knew we had to make this available to you. With Visme Forms, you can build a completely no-code, fully customizable interactive form right inside the Visme editor. You can add 3D characters or a gesture that captures your audience's attention, or you can keep it classic with simple transitions. Just like other Visme content types, Visme Forms are highly customizable, from colors, fonts, backgrounds, and paddings, to whether your form is single-step or multi-step, you can make the form fit your branding. You decide where it shows up on your site, and with hundreds of professional templates, you'll never have to start from scratch. And the best part is it doesn't stop there. Visme Forms includes built-in analytics, app integrations, and conditional logic, so you can guide every visitor through a personalized journey. If you're ready to see what Visme Forms can do for your submissions, head over to the home section of your Visme dashboard, click on the form slash surveys, and start designing today. Next, you ask, and we listen. We release the ability to favorite projects and templates so they're always within easy reach. To favorite a project, all you have to do is hover over it, open the three dot menu, and select add to favorites. Then you'll be able to find it in the favorites tab. Spot a template that you absolutely adore, hover over it and click the star icon. That way, that template is instantly saved to your favorites, ready whenever inspiration strikes. Over the past couple of months, we've made a series of upgrades to the My File section, including a full refactor behind the scenes to make everything run faster and a whole lot smoother. You'll also notice some brand new improvements as we've added breadcrumbs so that navigating your folder structure feels much, much easier. The old dimensions and size column is now split into two, so you can sort and filter by file size and by dimension separately. In the file settings pop-up, you'll now see the name of the folder where your file lives. It's clickable, so you can jump right into that folder with a single click. And lastly, when you import a PDF file with assets, imported assets are now automatically organized into one folder. All these updates are designed to make managing your files more seamless and intuitive. And to wrap things up for this month's feature recap, we've got some good news for our free plan users. We've made one of our carousel types available to everyone. With this update, you can add up to seven photos or videos to a single carousel. While there is a cap per carousel, there's no limit to how many carousels you can add to your design overall. Carousels are a great way to showcase multiple images or videos in one slide or page. So you can turn on autoplay for a more interactive feel and add descriptions to the whole carousel for each slide individually. So when you're creating your next project, go ahead and make it more visually engaging with a carousel. And that's all I have for you today. We hope that you're really excited to try out these new updates inside of Visme. And if you ever have any ideas or if you'd like to see something specifically next, let us know. Drop your suggestions and your feature requests in the comments down below. We'd love to hear what you have for us. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.